Greetings once again. Pastor Bob Reynolds here from True Life Community, Seventh-day Adventist Church here in Denver, Colorado. Uh, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever seen a strong-willed child, maybe at the store, arguing with the parents or, you know, throwing a fit? <laughs> we see those every once in a while. Heard the story by Vance Habner about this father and his son. They were driving to the store. And the father kept telling his son, son, I want you to sit down and buckle your seatbelt. Well, the child just wouldn't do it. He just refused. The father lifted his voice several times. Son, sit down and buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> the son finally figured out that his father was getting kind of angry. So he sat down and buckled his seatbelt. Then he turned to his father and he said, Daddy, <clears throat> I'm sitting down on the outside, but I'm still standing on the inside. <laughs> what he was telling his father was, you know, I'm sitting down here like you told me to, but my heart really isn't in it. We're like that sometimes, aren't we? With one another, with authority figures sometimes. We, we might obey, but we don't want to really. And sometimes we're that way with God. We might obey, but we really don't want to. David, of course, was like that. He did that in his lifetime. Lots of times. We all do. But David was sorry. He wrote, in Psalm 51 and verse 10, everyone should, should memorize this verse and make it a part of their lives. He said, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Renew a right spirit within me. That should be our prayer as we start every morning, shouldn't it? Father, it's so important for us to know that we can have a new heart, that we can be obedient to you, and it'll be from our hearts because we love you and we want to obey. Be with us today and help us to be obedient to all that you would have us do. In Jesus' name, amen. 